In this video, we will examine the web application server demo that ships in Alpha Anywhere. When Alpha Anywhere opens, it opens to a welcome screen. One of the tabs is Workspace and Tasks. When we switch to this tab, we can select the type of application we want to build, in this case, Web Mobile. We will also see a list of existing workspaces that have been recently opened. If we go down to Sample and Tutorial Workspaces, we can see a list of sample workspaces we can work with. We have the demo mobile application and the application server demo, which is the one we wish to look at. When we select this option, it will create a default folder where we can place this workspace. If we click the OK button, the system will copy all the required files from the system folders to this particular folder. This has already been done, so we'll actually go in and look at the application server demo already created. When the demo opens, it opens to an initial screen. This initial screen is actually a UX web component that is opening in a NextDialog desktop form. It has a number of options and behaves just like any desktop form. We have a small help button. We have another button up here that will open the application server settings that we can see here. We also can open the web control panel from this link here. We have an option to check the connection strings and verify that they are valid. We can also publish files. If we click this option, it opens another UX component and another X dialog. In this case, the application has already been published, so the only option is to publish updated files. And the web security data files were already published. We can click the button here if we wish to publish these updated files. However, all the files have been published, so we can close this window and we can launch the application. In this case, a different instance of the application server is already running, so we will just continue uh, because we already have an instance running. When the application server demos opens, it opens in a number of tabbed UIs. In this case, we have a tabbed UI that shows a variety of grids and various options for grids. We have a second tabbed UI which contains UX components. Later videos will examine all the features that are available in the application server demo.